I want to build muscle, but I'm 54. Is it too late for me? Be honest. This is JJ Virgin, four-time New York Times bestselling author, celebrity nutrition expert, and fitness hall of famer. I've been on a lifelong quest for answers to the toughest health questions. And now I'm sharing what I found with you. Welcome to Ask the Health Expert. Clarice from Instagram asks, I want to build muscle, but I'm 54. Is it too late for me? Be honest. Oh my gosh, Clarice. It's never too late. And I've got Dr. Stephanie Estima with me to show you how. She's an expert in female physiology, metabolism, and body composition. She uses the science of your cycle. Now, that's whether you're having a period or not, to help you reclaim your energy and feel great in your skin. She's a science nerd all wrapped up in a glam package. She literally seems to always look like she's right off the red carpet. And having been to costume parties with her, she plays an amazing Wonder Woman. We'll be right back with the answer. Stay with us. Okay, so I pinky promise, (laughs) all my fingers, all my toes, I promise you it is not too late. You are never too old to start anything. You were never too old to start anything. And quite frankly, at 54, in my opinion, you are just getting started in life, right? Like you are, you know, even though this is sometimes touted as like a time to fear, like, oh my God, you're in menopause and blah, blah, blah. I completely reject that. I feel like it's one of the, literally one of the richest times in your life. Your kids are likely, you know, old enough to take care of themselves. You know, hopefully they're sleeping through the night or in some cases they've even moved out of the home and you can now begin to focus on yourself and on your own dreams and your own goals. And if training and building muscle in your menopausal years is one of your dreams and one of your goals, I mean, this is going to confer such amazing benefits to your physiology, your energy, your mood, your sleep. I mean, all the things that matter, right? So a couple of things to note about training beyond 50. So, um, I have spoken about this uh, before with JJ. We become more insulin resistant as we age. So that means that our cells don't respond to insulin as well as they used to when you were maybe 20 or 30 or 40. And insulin's job, this is the fed state hormone. So this insulin's job is to take stuff from the blood and put it into the cells to make energy. So it will take glucose from the blood and we will make Uh, ATP from that. We will take amino acids from the blood and we will make ATP from that. And that's what insulin's job is. And the other thing to note about a woman who's over 50 is her muscles are also more anabolically resistant, meaning they have a harder time growing. So they resist the insulin like we just talked about. They will resist bringing amino acids in, right? Because insulin's job is to bring those amino acids in to start that muscle protein synthesis. And if you're 54, likely your estrogen environment, which is a trophic or a growth hormone, is also lower. So Is it harder to grow muscle when you're 54 versus when you're 24? Yes. Should that deter you? No. (laughs) So uh, in the same way that I would counsel a 24-year-old, you should not expect immediate results, right? I would say that if you were 24, 34, 44, or 54, the key to success in all aspects of of, of any, any health parameter or, you know, even beyond health, the, the key to success is consistency. And when we talk about muscle building, it is no different. So for all the type A 54 year olds that are listening, give yourself an 18 month runway for big changes. Okay. So, I mean, obviously you're going to see big changes after like four to six weeks of consistent training, but really big body composition changes. I have seen over and again, the pattern is about 12 to 18 months of consistent training to see big changes in your body composition. And you're going to see them after, like I said, four to six weeks, but it's the big stuff. I know that that's what you're after. So give yourself about a year to a year and a half. And if I can, or if I may, 
um, also just with love, uh, suggest that it's okay to be a beginner, right? If you've never trained before, hire someone to show you the ropes, whether that's in a gym or over a Zoom call and, and help them, get them to give you some pointers on your form. Think if you've never done a squat before, like most people can't squat properly, like get someone to watch you squat. Um, there's so, and even you can, I mean, even if you don't want to hire someone, you can just go on YouTube. There's such a wealth of information out there to get the information that you need. Um, Start slowly, like a beginner would, right? A basic weight training program or basic split would be like one day's full body, one day's upper body, one day's lower body. And you want to do at least, um, you know, 10 sets per week of any given muscle group in order to create change. So um, again, lots of information on the interwebs, lots of experts that are ready at your disposal to be able to answer your specific questions. But practice makes practice. And we never want to think about being perfect. We just always want to be thinking about leaning forward into consistency. This is JJ with Ask the Health Expert. I do this five times a week. So make sure you never miss a show by going to subscribe to JJ.com. 